uh, the positive outcomes over the last couple of weeks as disruptive as it's been for uh, families and um, students and staff in the district, um, you have really seen um, Chelmsford come together to support each other. I cannot begin to tell you how amazing everybody was when just rising to this occasion and helping each other out. They just knew this was important and we needed to help students. We couldn't just leave them, you know, in the dark. I think, um, you know, people's priorities really come out and, you know, within the school department, our priority on the first couple of weeks was really taking care of our uh, staff and our students and making sure that their health and well-being was being taken care of. Um, and we had a lot of staff members who were stepping up to help out and community members as well. We've seen a lot of neighbors helping each other, um, which I think is nice. And that obviously has kind of brought people together. I think even on um, social media, as negative as social media can be sometimes, you see a lot of positives as well. You've really seen Chelmsford come out to support each other, which I think has been uh, great. And that's uh, something that I hope lasts uh, even at the end of this, um, uh, this episode. Yes, our community has really come together during this pandemic, but it's not the school that is a community. It's the parents, the teachers, administration, and students that make up the community. I'm Alu Silva, and I'm one of the co-719 producers for CHS TV. And we are so excited to announce a new series that CHS TV is producing called 719 Community. Despite this pandemic, our community has found ways to stay positive, stay connected with each other, and keep going. CHS TV will be releasing videos on the plan on curriculum, online learning, and more, along with videos on what some clubs and community members are doing to stay busy. Stay tuned for those videos coming soon. This was Sarah Evans, Co-719 producer for CHS TV.